My name is Tom Bernanke, and I'm gonna show you how to get rid of your Morton's neuroma. So that's this nerve down here that causes sharp shooting zapping pain. Little known fact, you get Morton's neuromas from eating too much Morton's salt. No, I'm just kidding. So this right here is the anatomy of the Morton's neuroma. So you can see your metatarsal heads. One, two, three, four, five. The neuroma can come right here most of the time, but can also happen frequently in here. If you're pushing up here, that's more of a plantar plate injury. Uh, but if you press between here or here by squeezing above and below, so see how I'm squeezing above and below? Or above and below there that's more like a Morton neuroma and it sharps get a spasm so when I squeeze you get a sharp spasm that's indicative of a Morton neuroma so taking a look at the bottom right here these are what the nerves look like right here so you can see right through there you have your nerves in between so that's what I just drew right here you have your Morton's neuroma up here and up here this is called the Mulder's click test. When you squeeze and then at the same time touch the middle and the toes click and spasm. That is a Mulder's click. Number one, start icing the sore area. The nerve is swollen and injured. Ice will cool down that swelling. Number two, modify your activities. If you start heavy duty running, that means the nerve's too bruised up. You have to cool it down. It's just like bumping your elbow and your fingers spasming. Add the funny bone. Um, you got to stop hitting it and it will feel better. It's, you're not going to try and cure your funny bone from spasming uh, unless you get rid of the pressure on your elbow or the shot on your elbow. It doesn't matter what type of vitamins you take or what types of medications. Although when you are sore at the beginning, ibuprofen, uh, anti-inflammatories can help. But you gotta realize that it's a biomechanical issue, just like bumping your funny bone, and it springs into your fingers. The same thing happens at the bottom of your foot. One of the things you wanna do is get yourself a good shoe. If you're starting a new running program, here's what you need. Number one, the shoe can't bend in the middle. See how I'm trying to bend it? It only bends at the big toe. Same thing, I can't collapse the heel. There's a lot of fake shoes out there now that are slippers masquerading as shoes. Make sure the sides can't buckle in, the back doesn't buckle in, and you actually have some support. Look at how hard that shoe is. That's a great shoe right there. So one treatment is, and some people swear by this, it's to kind of sensitize the nervous system is to massage on the other side and to spend a lot of time massaging. There's not a lot of evidence here, but uh, there's a couple of videos online where people claim it works very well for them. And there is some desensitization um, evidence. So the idea is just massage, massage, and gradually as you do this a couple times a day for a few weeks, it's supposed to make your neuroma better. But these are one of those unproven home remedies that massaging makes everything feel better as long as you keep doing it because it kind of numbs your nervous system to the sensation. So that's all really massaging does. It doesn't really fix the problem. So one of the causes biomechanically is a tight Achilles tendon or in high heels. When you're walking, you land with the front of your foot. So there's more peak pressures at the front. Whereas if you're nice and flexible and your foot can actually flex up, that takes a lot of pressure off the bottom. So you can see right here, there's less pressure on your neuroma if you can uh, increase your calf flexibility and your hamstring flexibility. So here is the single best trick to use to get rid of your Morton neuroma. So see your shoe? 
the shoe combined with one of these. Ta-da, an orthotic. Don't worry, this isn't the $500 custom pair. Take a look at this. Right here, this is where the ball of my foot is in indenting. Here's your metatarsal head indentation spots. Look at this, there is a bump right here. This bump takes pressure off these. The next thing you can do, and this is the big tip, take a pad like this, any type of pad, and stick it underneath right here. So you can see your indentation is up front here where your metatarsal heads are, and look where the pad is, right about there. So that takes pressure off of it. This particular pad has glue on it, but you can take some duct tape and simply trim down uh, the duct tape and tape it on there. So the home trick is take a piece of duct tape, tape a pad right there so that you have pressure off here. You can see that indentation there. That is an instant fix. It works so good that your Morton aroma will start to get better over time. Here's the tricky thing is there's a lot of stuff going on. So while this will make your Morton aroma better, if you weigh very heavy, it won't let you run a marathon instantly. You're still going to get sore in your feet because this redistributes pressure into other areas of your foot that may now get sore. You still have to get in good shape. You have to get healthy. You have to start training properly. You can't be 350 pounds and run marathons. It just does not happen. So this is the ultimate trick. Grab a pad, grab an insert, and get pressure off this area right here. It works almost immediately. As soon as you start walking, you can go two, three times as far without as much pain. One of the most effective immediate things that we can do in the office is take a syringe and drop a little bit of steroid right by the nerve. That cools the nerve right down and it starts to feel better almost immediately within about two minutes of the injection. But don't worry, this isn't the great tip that I'm talking about. So here's the summary. This is a Morton aroma. You're gonna have sharp shooting, zapping pain usually between the third and the fourth toes, right here. What my number one trick is, first ice, then stretch, then get good shoes, then get a good orthotic with that pad. So, get a great shoe, get an orthotic into that shoe, tape a pad onto the bottom, use some duct tape, this takes all the pressure off this part of your foot. That's how you fix your Morton's Neuroma. This works for everybody. At the same time, see your podiatrist, get some x-rays, get some injections in there. You won't be sorry. Don't live with this pain. A couple appointments, one or two appointments with your podiatrist, and you know that's what you have, and that's how you take care of it.